Hello there YouTube, it is your boy B3, back another kicking action figure review. I said I would do another Power Ranger today, and I said that this figure's review was coming up. So here he is, the Beast X Blue Beast Morphers Ranger from the Power Rangers Beast Morphers toy line. This line is excellent for kids. If you have a kid that's into Power Rangers, they will absolutely love this toy line. Even I, as an adult collector, really appreciate it, so that's pretty cool. So, here he is, the Beast X Blue Ranger. He's got some differences from the regular Blue Ranger for you parents who think it's the same toy. Uh, below the knee is different. In fact, I'll show you with the regular Blue Ranger. Below the knee, completely different. Accessories, completely different. As you can see, the arms, different sculpts on the arms. And then the upper torso is very different because it has this plastic covering over it and their morphers are different. So that's that. Now, um, woo, I will show you his accessories. First we come to this role play toy, the Beast X Blue Ranger Morph X key. So you can insert that into the morpher for some roleplay fun, or you can stick it on his arm. And now it's a blade. So that way kids that don't have the morpher can still play with the key. Nice. But uh, I will be taking the key off because I do collect these keys and I do not display them on the rangers. So goodbye key, I will see you later. Now, he also comes with the same spinning sword that the Red Beast X Ranger I already reviewed came with. Uh, I can't really get it to spin, but you can see it's it's a spinning spinning sword. I think it's actually really cool. I displayed the Red Ranger with it, but I'm actually going to display this guy with this big blaster. Uh, this also comes with the Yellow Ranger, but she comes with a slightly different sword as well. It's pretty cool. This was not in the Sentai. Neither was the sword. But I mean, this stuff... You try to put it in their hands. See how well that goes. It's thick, but... It does fit eventually. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, you looking for some trouble? You think you're gonna find mercy here, you're wrong, robot youth. <laughs> yeah, but that's him with the gun. Looks pretty cool. Or blaster, I should say. They're blasters. Uh, this is a, since this is a plastic covering, it doesn't uh, hinder articulation as much, but it still hinders, which you will now see in articulation. Side to side on the head, a tiny bit of wobble, but not much. In and out on the arms, forward and back, which is like that, elbow bend, elbow rotation, in and out on the legs, forward on the legs, no real back, in on the knees, rotation, that's all. That's all the articulation. I think that's plenty for kids though, and a $10 toy. Bandai used to give us a lot less with their Rangers for 10 bucks. Smaller figures, less articulation, almost no accessories. Yeah, so detail and paint. The head looks great. Uh, it's really not a bad figure at all. It's got enough paint for a $10 figure. As you saw earlier, the first one had a fully painted morpher, but this time they just painted that bit, since that's the new part. He's a very cool looking figure. Uh, I'm happy to have him in my collection. So now let's get to everybody's favorite part. Size comparisons. So for our first size comparison, we're going to compare him with his own line. Here he is with some blue boys. The Drilltron. And since it's what I have laying around, the Beast Morphers Blue Ranger. So you can really see all the differences there. Like this guy doesn't have a lot of the silver, this guy does, etc. Because it had to go into other aspects. Still, pretty cool. Let's remove them from the picture. Show him with some larger figures. And here he is with the Legacy Armored Red Ranger and the Sentai Hero Series Zuyo Whale. 
big dwarf him. They're not going to go together at all. Remove. And then lastly, with the adult collectible line, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Here he is with SPD Red. And here he is with the Ranger Slayer. And you know what? I actually don't think these two lines look bad together at all. I think they look pretty cool. So let's remove them and move on to our final thoughts. So what are my final thoughts on the Beast X Blue Ranger? Well, I think he's just as good as the Beast X Red Ranger. I really do, you know. He's got all the articulation, detail, paint, and accessories that I would require from a $10 children's toy. Remember, you can't judge him from an adult collector uh, point of view. You have to judge him from a child's toy point of view, which is what I'm attempting to do here. This review is not for children, but it is for parents who might want to get figures for their children. Uh, this is definitely one that your kids will like. Uh, and you know, I think they'll have a lot of fun with it, just like I had fun with Power Ranger kids, with Power Ranger toys when I was a kid, and I still do now. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And next time, we'll probably have a kaiju for you, so that'll be fun.